Creed, the old King of the Moon Dogs. And it's time again for another of your favorite rock and roll sessions as you enjoy the Moon Dog What's up, here? Hello, Ian Hunter, Cleveland Rock. Hey, let's talk about rock and roll today. Let's talk about history of rock and roll in this area where I grew up. I grew up in a little rural town called Hinckley, Ohio. And Hinckley, Ohio was known for the buzzards. It still is. Every March 15th is buzzard day in Hinckley. We'll get to that in a little bit. But let's go way back. Let's go back to uh, December of 1818. Well, the townsfolk in the town of Hinckley were a little petrified by the wild animals that were out in the forest. They were coming in at night and wiping out half of their flocks. So they all put their heads together and they decided they were going to have a great hunt. It would be known as the Great Hinckley Hunt. You can look it up on the internet and read about it. It's quite a historical event. But the townsfolk got together. There was probably over 600 people, men, boys, and they mustered up everything they could, any kind of weapon that they could grab. Well, they grabbed pitchforks, knives, guns, muskets, whatever they had, and they made a circle that went miles around the area. When the signal was given, they all marched forward, shooting toward the middle. Now, this was a huge circle, miles wide and the, the orders were given as soon as they got within a half mile of the center that it, all the firing would stop so that no one would get injured and no one no one was killed in this hunt fortunately but when all the smoke faded away there was over 300 deer that they killed 21 bears and 17 wolves so as the story goes they butchered up what they would and they had a big feast and they busted open the kegs of whiskey and they celebrated on Christmas Eve halfway through the night. Well, they say that nobody really got drunk and nobody was hung over for Christmas Day, but that's yet to be seen because uh, I don't think anybody's around that uh, we can disprove that fact today. However, uh, the story says that the buzzards came to feed on all the carry and all the dead meat that was laying around. And every year thereafter, the buzzards have returned to Hankley as the swallows of Capistrano return. So on March 15th, Hankley, Ohio, sponsors Buzzard Day. And you can go to the school and get pancakes and sausage on Buzzard Day. Then you can go out to the field with your binoculars and you can look for the first buzzard to return to Hankley. Back in the uh, 60s and 70s, there was a radio station in Cleveland, Ohio, and it was known as WMMS 100.7, the home of the buzzard. Their motto or mascot, so to speak, was taken after Hinkley, Ohio, and the return of the buzzards there. And it was on one particular March 15th buzzard day that the town of Hinckley decided to let WMMS sponsor Buzzard Day. So they broadcasted all over their radio station. Now WM WMMS was one of the greatest radio stations in the history of the U.S. as far as rock and roll. They pioneered uh, rock and roll music, bringing stuff, new cutting edge music over from Britain and uh, England, London, and uh, other countries, as well as up-and-coming artists here in the U.S. Well, Ian Hunter wrote the song Cleveland Rocks in honor of the city of Cleveland for its great leaps and bounds in the rock and roll industry. And today you can visit the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is right on the lake up there. It's a great place to go. But WMMS was a great station, and I listened to it religiously. I used to say to myself, I'll listen to WMMS till the day I die. Well, WMMS still is on the air, however, it's nothing like it was in the 70s. Uh, times have changed it, and it's, it's not the buzzard anymore. But when it was the buzzard, 
and March 15th rolled around on Buzzard Day. All the hippies, all the all the rock and rollers from Northeast Ohio converged on Hinkley, Ohio. Well, there was bikers, motorcycle gangs, there was frisbee players, there was partiers. The cars pulled off into the uh, berms of the road on the grass, and they opened their trunks and they cranked up WMMS full blast. The home of the Bulldog, WMMS. I was a part of it, I'm proud to say. Good times. Rock and roll. Hey, you know, I'm still an old rocker. An old one, but I still love rock and roll. You gotta love it, man.